All right, guys, welcome once again to comicbookinvest.com. This is my rumor has it favorite five. Um, this is always where I come in and I talk about some of the five books I like best. Uh, this week's a little different. There's no just giant book um, like the Robin King was last week, but there are some uh, hot books that um, you should definitely take and take a look at, see if that's right up your alley, if that's something that you want. First book we're going to take a look at is probably one you'll be able to find in your stores. But um, it's Josh Josh Milton. He's doing Wonder Woman. He's doing two, three different covers. But this is um, issue number seven sixty. Gorgeous cover. Um, if you recall when he jumped onto the Batgirl, how how a couple of those issues are just diehard. Everyone wants to have them. And this one's no different. This is a gorgeous cover. And um, a couple of the ones coming up are also going to be just gorgeous. But um, just check check it out. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if this is on cover fire uh, when you get a chance to check it out. But uh, issue number seven sixty. Joshua Middleton. Uh, next one I want to talk about is not going to be worth anything either. I just think sort of cool. Um, Sonata 12, but there's a B variant that's a 3D. Um, it's a little bit more expensive. Instead of being uh, $4.99, I think it's $5.99 or $6.99. Uh, but you might be able to find it for cover depending on your store. But just the idea, I love Sonata. If you haven't looked at this book, it's a gorgeous book. And if you guys know who I am, you know that I like Mobius a whole lot. This reminds me a lot of, of Mobius. And Sonata is just gorgeous. Um, I've read the first two or three issues and I just love it. Um, I pick them up when I can. So yes, yeah, Sonata 12 3D. It's a sort of novel. I haven't usually 3D books seem like they come on special editions. So I'm curious to see what makes this 3D and why they're trying it out here. Uh, next book I'm going to talk about is a boom, and actually next next couple of books are going to be boom books. Uh, Red Mother number nine, or yeah, Red Mother number number nine. I I believe. Or, no, sorry, Red Mother number seven. Uh, this is a Franny one for twenty five. Boom has figured out the the secret recipe. If they have good stories, then if they throw out these one for twenty five, stores will eventually buy them, and their one for twenty five sell for definitely over ratio. Um, I think the the listing I've seen this one ranges a few sold for twenty, but then others sold for forty five. Can't find any listed right now on eBay. So they when your store gets them, it might start selling for forty five and averaging that. Red Mother is not as popular as the other series we're going to talk about, but it's still way up there. Um, next book we're going to talk about is the next boom book I want to talk about. And this one is, these books come out and they're selling, they're selling, they're selling. So, uh, something is Killing the Children. This is, uh, they're one for 25 variant. This is a Christian Ward variant. Um, he has a unique style. They're not quite as good as the uh, Friston variants when they come out. But they're still, it's a gorgeous cover. I love, I love it. I haven't, I haven't read these last few issues. I did read the first trade and I loved it. I think it's a great story. I think Boom is onto something that can easily be translated into a TV show or a movie. So I would keep an eye on these. And these, these, I think this one 60, 70 bucks is what it averages for a one for 25 variant. So definitely worth keeping your eyes out for them if you can find it for ratio or definitely under buy it if you can. Um, I would definitely check these out. This is a Something's Killing the Children number nine. Final book I want to talk about is Venom 27. This is a one for 100 variant, so a Stegman. I, I like to show these. There are so many store variants out there. There are so many store variants that feature Codex, who is, makes his premiere full appearance in this issue. Um, I don't know how much the which store variant is the one to go for. I would probably go for this one for 100, even though it's not Codex, because it's a gorgeous cover. That this is the one for 100 sketch of the B cover, I believe, for Venom. Of Venom 27. I'm not actually like the A cover for this one, but this is uh, the B cover is gorgeous. The one for 100, if I can find it, I would definitely try to track it down. I imagine you can probably get these for under ratio eventually because you have lots of stores doing these ratio variants. There are some gorgeous ones out there from John Boy Maury and Hunk Lee, G, G Hung Lee, and all of them are doing different ones. I think uh, Kirkman has one out there. But what you run into, first cover appearance of Codex would technically be Venom 25 second printing. So you sort of go, okay, well, then it's not quite as important. Though it is the first appearance, so you get to cover on the first appearance. So you choose the one you like best um, of that. But uh, I'm, I would go for the one for 100 if I can find it for a good price. Um, once again, this is the Favor 5. This is comicbookinvest.com. Rumor has it. Uh, check it out tomorrow. If you subscribe, guys, you get this tonight, Monday night versus Tuesday morning. So. Mm -hmm.